This video is to show you how to upload Panopto videos to your Canvas course. So the first thing that you need to do is make sure that you have the Panopto link uh, available in your course navigation links, uh, which I do here. If you don't already have it, you can go into settings, the course settings, and then go to the navigation tab across the top here, and then scroll down until you see the bottom half of the different links and find the Panopto uh, link and then drag it to the upper half. And once you've dragged Panopto to the upper half, you'll make sure that you save, click the save button at the bottom of the page. And then the Panopto link will appear in the list of links on the left-hand side of your course. So say I want to add a Panopto video that I've already done. What I can do is I can create a uh, page in one of my modules. And to do that, I cl click the plus button to the right of the module title. So for example, in this video, my module title uh, right here is section one. To the far right of it, I have a plus button, a plus sign button. I click on that and then I choose what type of um, activity I'm adding to this module. It defaults to assignment, but if I click on the assignment um, word, I get a drop down, uh, drop down box and uh, it gives me the different options. I'm going to add a page. And I have some pages that I've already created and I can add one of those if I want to, or I can choose this top option, which is new page. So I'll choose that option and then I give my page a name. I'm just naming it Panopto Video 1. And then I go down to the bottom right of this little window and choose the add item button. And now I have Panopto video one as a page in my, um, my first module, section one module. So I click on that page that I just created. I click on the title and it takes me to that page. And then in the top right of my window or near the top right of my window, I have an edit button. This is where I can go to edit the page that I just created. So I click edit. And then it brings me to a window that has a text box. You can type uh, uh, instructions or information that you'd like to relate to the students in the text box. And this is also where you can add your Panopto video. So along the list of links and buttons um, just above the uh, text box, uh, will be a blue chevron looking icon uh, or a kind of a downward arrow looking icon, um, light blue. And this, if I hover over, it tells me more external tools. And if I click on it, it gives me some additional tools that I can choose that just uh, couldn't fit in the list of buttons. And one of those options is Panopto Video. So I click on Panopto Video and it opens a new window and it uh, loads um, a Panopto video screen. And if I have recorded classes already uh, for uh, recorded videos for this specific class, meaning that I have recorded videos uh, in this Canvas course, then uh, they will appear here. And I see that there are three tabs on the window. One is choose. If I had recorded videos, uh, they would appear under choose. Upload, this is if I had videos that are downloaded uh, on my desktop or a flash drive, um, and I can upload those videos here, or I can record, and I can record a video from uh, straight within uh, this Canvas course. You'd give the video a name, um, and then you record. And I won't actually be able to record because I'm creating this video. So my uh, webcam is occupied at the moment, um, but it would pop open a new window and you can start recording and uh, do a live recording from this window. Um, near or yeah, just below where it says Panopto video in this window is a little drop down menu. By default, it will drop down, it will put you in the folder for this specific class. If you have Panopto videos um, 
that are in a different folder in Panopto, not in this class folder. You can click on that um, little drop down window and it will give you different folders that you may have already created. And when you find the right folder, you can click on it. And then it may give you some uh, videos to choose from that you didn't um, uh, have in the default um, folder, the class folder. When you find your video, um, you can see now I have uh, in my fall fake English class, I have a video that I recorded and it um, gives me a little uh, preview window here and a little, um, it's called a radio button, which is the circle uh, button to the left of my uh, video. And I click on that. It gives me some options about how to embed the video in my Canvas page. Uh, embedding basically just means that I'm going to house my video in that canvas page that I created as one of the first steps in this process. Earlier on in the video, we create a page. Uh, I can house my video in that page so that when students access this page, the video is there and they don't have to navigate to Panopto or another website to watch the video. And so I can choose some different settings such as changing the size of the video. Uh, and when I'm happy with the settings, there's a button that says insert in the bottom right of this little window here. I click on that and then uh, Panopto and Canvas will work together to insert the video in this uh, box. Now, my video that I inserted isn't a real video, so it doesn't it won't actually play anything. Um, but with your real videos, that's how you'll add it. And then I can save and publish uh, this page or just save and publish later, uh, whatever I want to do. So I'll save and publish. And now I have this video in my page that I just created. So if I go back to my home page for this course, I can see Panopto video one. And when I click into it, there's that video. And students will see it as well when they go to that page. So I like um, adding my Panopto videos in a page because I can add some extra text information, such as instructions or directions uh, as text. Uh, to accompany the video. So that's the way I would recommend doing it. Uh, however, you could alternatively, you could add um, an external link. So uh, an external link is another kind of activity that you add to a module. So the same way I added the page, I'll add the external link. So whichever module I'm in, in this example, section one, I'll go to the plus sign and click it. And then I'll choose what type of uh, activity I'm adding to the module. So I click on the uh, little button and it gives me a drop down. And then one of the options is external tool. And so um, I have uh, a blank box where I can add a URL. You would go into Panopto and copy your video's URL. And I'll show you by using uh, lectures.kvcc.edu. And I can find uh, one of my videos. It doesn't matter for this example which video I use. Um, notice when I hover over my video, there's a list of uh, tools to the right. Um, what you want is share, the button that says share. And when I click on share, uh, I get a new window. And at the top of that window is a link. That's the link to the video. So I can copy that link and then go back to my Canvas course page and paste that link in the URL box. And I can give it a name if I want to. I'll just call it video two. And then I'll click the blue add item button. And now I have the link to the video in my module. And students can click on that and reach the video. As long as I have the video share settings uh, set correctly, um, which you need to make sure that you uh, you change the share settings of the video to allow your class to view it, uh, which is why it's an extra step or two and can be a hassle and easy to forget, which is why I like doing the uh, embed method better, embedding the video within a Canvas page. I like that better um, for that reason. So that is how you can add Panopto videos um, how you can add Panopto videos that you've pre-recorded and are living on the Panopto website, and also how you can upload videos that you have saved on your desktop or a flash drive. 
uh, or how you can record videos uh, directly within a Canvas page itself uh, for a class. And so any of those methods are fine. It just you know depends on if you already have videos braided uh, and where they live, or if you want to create a video within a Canvas page itself. And you know that's a matter of personal preference. Uh, so hopefully that gives you some direction. And uh, thank you for watching today. And check our Faculty Success Center uh, YouTube channel for a lot of other hopefully helpful videos.